Hi, welcome you all to my channel Wins Academy for Competitive Exams. In this video, we are going to see the basics of inductance. Our learning objectives are what is inductance, inductors connected in series, inductors connected in parallel, inductance of a solenoid, inductance of a toroid, inductance of a coaxial cable, energy stored in magnetic field and some problems that are asked in the competitive exams. So first let us see what is an inductance. This is the symbol for an inductor. So whenever a current flow through a conductor, a magnetic field will be produced around that conductor. So consider this is a long conductor and I current is flowing through that conductor. So due to this current flow, there will be a magnetic field around that conductor. This is normal principle. Now, if we want to increase this magnetic field around that conductor, we have to change this straight conductor in the form of a coil so that there will be more magnetic field around that coil conductor. Depending upon the number of turns, there will be more magnetic field. So, the total magnetic field will be higher than the straight conductor. So, this is called as an inductor. So, next we are going to see the definition for inductance. The rate of change of current produces change in magnetic field which induces an EMF in the opposite direction to the voltage source. This property of induction of EMF is called as inductance. Inductance is denoted by the letter capital L. So, L is equal to N phi by I Henry. Henry is the unit of inductance and phi is the Weber magnetic flux. Right, N is the number of turns and I is the current flowing through the coil. So, next we are going to see when two inductors are connected in series, what is the total inductance? So, here two inductance, first inductor of inductance L1 and second inductor of inductance L2 is connected in series. So, the total inductance is equal to L1 plus L2. This is similar to the resistance. So, next we are going to see inductors connected in parallel. So, when two inductors are connected in parallel, the total inductance is equal to 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2. That is, total inductance is equal to L1 L2 divided by L1 plus L2. So, this is similar to the resistors connected in parallel. Next, we are going to see inductance of a solenoid. Solenoid is a coil of wire wound on a long conductor or long solid ion. So, this is a solenoid. Inductance of the solenoid is given by L is equal to mu naught mu r n square A divided by L. Here, mu r is the relative permeability. Mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 and n is the number of turns. A is the area of cross section and L is the length of the coil. Next, inductance of a toroid. So, when a solenoid is connected in the form of ring shaped, then it becomes a toroid. So, toroid is a coil of insulated or enameled wire wound on a donut shaped form made of powdered iron. So, capital L is equal to mu naught mu r n square A divided by 2 pi r. Here, mu naught permeability value 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 n is the number of turns, a is the area of cross section and r is the radius of the toroid. So next inductance of a coaxial cable. So this is a coaxial cable. So it has an inner conductor and outer conductor. Inner conductor is of radius a and outer conductor is of radius b. So l is equal to mu naught by 2 pi ln b by a. Mu naught value 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. A is the radius of the inner conductor and B is the radius of the outer conductor. Next, the energy stored in the magnetic field. The formula for energy stored in the magnetic field is given by E is equal to 1 by 2 L i square. Here L is the inductance and I is the current. 
So the energy stored in the magnetic field is equal to the work needed to produce a current through the inductor. So that is called as energy. Next let us see some problems. First problem. The inductance of a solenoid of length 1000 mm would uniformly wound with 3000 turns on a cylindrical paper tube of 60 mm diameter is. So we have to calculate what is the inductance value. This is for solenoid. So we know the solenoid inductance L is equal to mu naught n square A divided by L. Here given n is equal to 3000, L is equal to 1000 into 10 power minus 3. Since the length is given in millimeter, we have converted into meter. So 1000 into 10 power minus 3 meter. Then diameter is given D is equal to 60 into 10 power minus 3. So if the diameter is divided by 2, we will be getting the radius. So R is equal to 30 into 10 power minus 3. Then area. Area is pi R square. Already we know this formula. So here instead of R, we have to substitute 30 into 10 power minus 3. Then substitute all the values in the L equation. You will be getting L is equal to uh, 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 into 3000 square into pi into 30 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square divided by 1000 into 10 power minus 3 so that is equal to 32 milli henry so option c is the right answer so next problem what will be the current passing through the ring shaped coil air core coil when number of turns is 800 and ampere turns are 2400 so we have to calculate the current flow so understand the question clearly given ampere turns ampere turns means ampere is the current and turns number of turns so ni is equal to 2400 it is given then number of turns also given that is n value is also given n is equal to 800 so from this we can calculate i i is equal to 2400 divided by 800 so that is equal to 3 amperes so it is simple just we have to understand the question clearly so, option D is the right answer. Next question. Energy stored in a coil is doubled when current is increased by. So, we have to double the energy. We know the energy formula E is equal to 1 by 2 Li square. Now, if we double this energy, that means we have to multiply 2 in the left hand side as well as right hand side. So, what will you get? 2 E equal to Li square. This Li square can be written as 1 by 2 L into root 2 I the whole square. So this root 2 I the whole square is equal to 2 I square. So that 2, this 2 gets cancelled. So you will be getting Li square only. So just for simplification we are writing like this. So here instead of I we are having root 2 I. So root 2 value we know. Root 2 is equal to 1.414. So here the amount of current increases 0.414. So 0.414 into 100 is equal to 41.4 percentage. So option B is the right answer. Next question. A toroid has a core of cross sectional area of 2500 millimeter square. Mean diameter 250 into 10 power minus 6 meter and mu r equal to 1000. What is the number of turns to be bound on the core to obtain an inductance of 1 Henry? So here we have to calculate what is the value of capital N. So we know for toroid the formula is L is equal to mu naught mu r n square a divided by 2 pi r. So given area is equal to 2500 mu naught value we know 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 mu r is equal to 1000. And L is equal to 1 Henry, R is equal to 125 into 10 power minus 6. Since the diameter is 250 into 10 power minus 6, so we can write R is equal to 250 divided by 2, that is 125 into 10 power minus 6. Now we have to substitute these values in the above equation. So you will be getting the equation like this. So here you have to keep in mind the area is given in millimeter square. So if you want to convert it into meter means we have to multiply by 10 power minus 9. Then we have to simplify it. So if you simplify this, you will be getting the answer as n is equal to 500. Next problem. A coil of 1000 turns is wound on a core. 
A current of 1 ampere flowing through the coil creates a core flux 1 millivolt bar. The energy stored in the magnetic field is. So we have to calculate the energy. We know the formula for energy is equal to 1 by 2 L I square. So inductance formula L is equal to N phi by I. This is a general formula for inductance. N is the number of turns and phi is the flux. So here N is equal to 1000. I is equal to 1 ampere and phi is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 3. So on substituting this, you will be getting L is equal to 1 Henry. Again by substituting the value of L in the energy equation, you will be getting E is equal to 1 by 2. So that is equal to 0.5 joules. So option B is the right answer. So next problem, the energy stored in the magnetic field of a solenoid. 30 cm long and 3 cm diameter wound with 1000 turns of wire carrying current of 10 ampere is. So here also we are going to calculate the energy. So energy formula E is equal to 1 by 2 L I square since it is a solenoid. Solenoid inductance formula is L is equal to mu naught N square A divided by L. So diameter value is given from that we can calculate the radius and from that we can calculate what is the area. After that substitute these values in the inductance formula. So you will be getting 3 into 10 power minus 3 Henry. Then energy E is equal to 1 by 2 L I square. So substitute the value of L and I. So you will be getting 0.15 joules. So option B is the right answer. Now we have come to the end of the video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Also press the bell icon so that you will be getting the notification regarding my forthcoming videos. Thank you.